It's now been over a year since Frenemies ended, ultimately ending Ethan and Trisha's friendship and tearing their family apart. Obviously, I don't want to get an argument over I really like need your to most... leave. Okay, all right, we're done. Thank okay. you guys. Thank you. Well, Ethan has finally broken his silence about Trisha and Frenemies during the Howie Mandel podcast, and he addressed a lot. It's a mess, so let's get into it. When Frenemies ended, I think a lot of us were holding out hope that it would just be another one of their many fights and Trisha's many stormouts and everything would go back to normal and Frenemies would resume. At the time, I personally thought they'd maybe take a week or two break to cool off and come to their senses, but little did I know, that was the end. The end of the podcast, the end of their friendship, and even the end of Ela's relationship with her brother Moses. The fallout from that podcast ending was a huge mess, and it really made Trisha take a step back from involving herself in drama. Now, don't get me wrong, she still gets into drama and does offensive things, but she's really taken a step back from involving herself in other people's drama, which is pretty shocking. I think she knew if she kept engaging with Ethan and dragging the family into everything, she would ultimately lose Moses. Now Trisha and Moses are married, they have a baby due in two months, and Frenemies is dead and gone. But the other day, I had the shock of my life when I opened my homepage and saw this. Frenemies is back and short-lived. I can't tell you just how quick I clicked on that video and then how quick I was disappointed. It was complete clickbait and it ended up just being Oliver Tree. Not that there's anything wrong with Oliver Tree. I thought it was a really funny episode. I was just expecting to see Frenemies back. It's such a strange feeling because like, I know Trisha is controversial and she's done a lot of really bad things, but I just couldn't help but be excited. Frenemies was such a moment on the internet. Dealing with lockdowns and COVID and being isolated was such a hard time. But somehow, having frenemies to look forward to made it a little bit better. It was so funny, they had such good chemistry together, and there's truly no podcast like frenemies. Anyways, let's move on to the Howie Mandel podcast. Ethan was a guest on the show this week, and the episode is titled, Ethan Klein on H3 speaks on current relationship with Trisha Paytas and the return of frenemies. The reason Trisha was initially brought up was because they saw Ethan's clickbait title about the return of Frenemies last week, and they thought Frenemies was actually coming back, so I guess they didn't even bother to watch the video, but they asked Ethan about it. Tuned into you a, a while back. You're not, I don't think you're doing it with her anymore, but there was that, uh, what's her name, Trish? That's what I wanted to bring up. You just announced that it's coming back, right? That was a that was a troll. That opened up a can of Trisha worms, and they started digging deeper and deeper into the frenemies' tea. Howie asked Ethan if he's on good terms with Trisha, and Ethan said no. They're on horrible terms. I'm but sorry. you're not in. You're not. Are you on good terms with her? No. Horrible. Howie said he actually met Trisha a long time ago when she went on America's Got Talent. He was a judge on the show when she auditioned, and he met her again when she was in the vlog squad. And then I met her again when she was dating David Dobrik's friend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jason Nash. Yes. Yes. And then I saw her again, you fighting with her mm -hmm. on the air, like negotiating a deal or not negotiating a deal on the air. We talked a lot about a, a lot of stuff and a lot of horrible things. Ethan then broke the news that Trisha ended up marrying his brother Moses and said that was the thing that really set everything off. He couldn't really get into all the details of what happened, but he said the whole situation is really sad. Transpired, she's married to my brother-in-law. No, no. Which is the craziest thing. Wait, I didn't know that. He revealed that Moses no longer speaks to Ela and it sounds like the whole thing has really torn the whole family apart. Is They're married and she's pregnant. And it's really sad because, you know, it's <laughs> never good to be estranged from your family. Yeah, it was bad and we are not in contact. Wait, but does, so does your wife talk to her brother? No, 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 no. I, we were very, we were all really close with him. And he ended up marrying, you know, Trisha and everything went off the rails. They also talked about Trisha becoming a mother and how we seem pretty surprised. 
they've been dating maybe i don't know maybe a year plus or something I don't and know. they're having a child yeah 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 yeah, yeah she's yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah. the mother <laughs> oh baby <laughs> But don't, you're gonna see that's a controversial negative. take. Yeah. Did I do? Do I do? No, I meant that like uh, I'm just trying well, to. Well, let's unpack that, <laughs> Howie. What do you mean by she's gonna be a mother? <laughs> she's kind of wild. Yes. Howie asked Ethan how the in-laws feel about Trisha marrying Moses and having a baby with him, and Ethan said they hate her. And how are the in-laws with her? Oh well, they hate her guts. Yeah, if you want to ask seriously. <laughs> I did ask seriously. Yeah, they, they hate, they hate her. Okay, more than me, probably. Now, when I heard that, I was a little bit taken aback because, like, Moses' family went to their wedding. The mom was even at the gender reveal, so that was kind of a shock to me. But Ethan later clarified that he was actually talking about his side of the family. He said Moses' side doesn't really know Trisha since they live overseas. So is your brother then estranged from everyone? In no, 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 no. He's, he's close, close to Trisha's, with, Trisha's family. <laughs> yeah, he is close with Trisha's family and he's close with his family, uh -huh. my wife's family. You know, they talk. They just but I just asked you off. that. So they, 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 it's, my well, wife's family, my family who lives here. Yeah. And but your wife's family, you said, hey, they me. live in Israel. So they right. don't know her. They don't know her very well. Yeah. They ended up switching the topic from Trisha onto other things like Ethan being banned from YouTube, Ryan Kavanaugh and all that fun stuff. But near the end, they got back to talking about Trisha. Howie's daughter asked Ethan if there would be any chance that he'd ever do frenemies again, even if it was with someone else, and he said no. He said it's run its course and it's never coming back. Howie found that kind of sad, and he had this brilliant idea to call Trisha and get the family back together. Clearly, he doesn't actually know anything about Trisha, because if he did, he would know that's the worst idea ever. Yeah, it's sad that everyone isn't talking and it ended so horribly, but some things are best left closed. I really don't think Trisha being called on a podcast is going to be the thing that makes them make up and forgive and forget. You want to call them? Just to try to get the family together? You want to call Trisha Paytas right now? Yeah. Here, I'll give you your number. At first, Ethan didn't really care, and he was like, yeah, sure, go ahead. But then you could tell he thought about what would happen if he actually did that, and he changed his mind. <laughs> I'm serious. Go for okay, it. Okay, I will. Well, just dial it, and then I'll plug it in here. Or she won't answer no, your phone. No, she won't answer your phone. Dude, this Give is it to... so... <laughs> he said he had to check with Ela, and he really needed to be careful. Let me check with my wife first. The Trisha thing is the one place where... I gotta tread carefully and it it sucks. They ended up calling Ela, and even Ela was like, no, not happening. And what's we're, going on? So oh, Howie man. wants to, uh, Hey kids. Teddy. Okay, so Howie wants to call Trisha on the show and mediate. Oh. Okay. Mm. Thank you, Hila. Thank you. No. Not no. Exactly. Let me talk to <laughs> That's her. That's what I said. I plug said, her in the air. No. Plug her in the hair so I could talk to her. He what really bothers me, Hila, is when families are torn apart. And I just <laughs> wanted to make very a, real. No, it is very real. And, and I would love nothing better than to get some sort of just a conversation going. Well, the thing is that it's uh there's like very um it's a whole thing. No, I know. Eventually Howie gave up and they ended the podcast there. I was really expecting Trisha to blow up and film a video trying to drag Howie and Ethan and being really upset over what was said, but so far she hasn't responded. The next day, Ethan talked about the podcast during his own podcast. Ethan felt like Howie didn't fully grasp just how serious the Trisha situation was, and he almost sounded a little bit scared for him since he brought Trisha up in the first place. But so far, Trisha has been quiet, which is definitely a huge change for her. Normally, she'd have a video posted within the first, like, 10 minutes of anyone mentioning her, so maybe she really is done with the drama. Could this be a new change Trisha that we're seeing here? I don't know. It could be. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. How do you feel about the things that Ethan said about Trisha? And do you think Howie took things a little bit too far by wanting to call Trisha? Let me know and I'll see you next time.